tools you're gonna need. A four millimeter hex key, some pliers, some Phillips screwdriver, and a 12 millimeter socket. After you have all this, you're gonna start by removing the four screws on the front, two, three, and four. And there's three on the front. One, two, and three. And there's another four on the other side of the housing. After all these screws are removed, you can slide up the housing. To remove the motor, what you need to do is loose the two bolts holding the motor with the socket. That will remove the motor from the bracket and you can just slide the motor out. After you have this motor out, you can cut the zip ties with the pliers. After that, just follow the wires and disconnect the wires from the motherboard. There's the two here. You might need to use pliers to remove the prong connectors. It's one. There's two. That will release the motor connectors. There's a ground connector here. You can use a Phillips screwdriver just remove the bolt to reconnect the ground from the motor and to get a new motor just go in the um, reverse order uh, before you uh, you attach the motor to the bracket make sure you put the pulley back in you can reconnect the motor and you can get some new zip ties and reconnect all the wires and zip tie them back in place. Make sure um, black wire goes in motor negative and the red wire goes in M positive. 